enjoy and be grateful for where we are right now and that is in van life enjoying my zion yet again Hey y'all, I'm Antoinette Yvonne, the luxury nomad, and this is my Van Zion. A tremendous goal of mine was to break away from the norm, live life how I desired, and where I desired it to be. We are now walking through the city of Jerusalem. After two years of living in my converted van full time, I recently took the past three months off to relax, to recoup, and to travel throughout Europe. Burnout is real, but this summer I want to make the most of my Van Zion, push the envelope, and explore more of the U.S. outback. Let's hope by the end of this video, I can easily get back into the swing of things. I am back on the road, guys. How do I feel about it? And take full advantage of what could potentially be my last summer in the van. So let the voyage begin. Good morning guys. Today we have the cumbersome task of getting the van together. I'll be hitting the road in just a couple of days. It has been two months since I've taken a break from the road. Actually two and a half months. Yep, March, a little bit of February. Oh, February, a little bit of February, March, April. It is May. Actually, three months since I haven't been on the road. I haven't cleaned the back area since I've been back. I haven't organized or spring, summer clean now. So today is that day. Goal is obviously is to get it prepared, organized, get it livable again. Number one, clean out the fresh water tank and the gray water tank. And number three, actually really purge. Purge on the things that I have not used, that I really don't use, or that I really don't really need to use while on the road. Then actually hit the road. I get all this stuff in these bags that are really just not called for. We're not going to pack the van with clothes that I don't wear and or can't fit anymore. Utensils and tools that I don't even use. And then go from there. I think for starters, we're going to go through all of my clothes, what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. Yeah, my Yeti shirt. <laughs> Definitely keep. Time to get rid of her. Oh, my old apple pencil. Honey, sweet tea chewed it up. Honey, sweet tea collar. Oh, honey, sweet tea. pajama pants the most comfortable things I've ever come across they're not even pants anymore they're like this is supposed to be a pant but there's a big hole in the crotch but they're so comfortable Ugh, I really don't want to get rid of these but I know I should so all right get my get rid of clothes pile trash clothes pile keep clothes pile whether they're going to the van or staying here in storage or not these are all keep okay so i had to make a quick run to autozone to get this funnel so that i can be able to put my bleach water solution into my water tank but check out danette They're gonna be love. They're gonna love the fact that they're seeing you sing. What? You know, practice your professional work on camera. Yes. They love that. Uh huh? You got something to say to the people? How did that Hello out there in TV land. Oh. I'm uh got a little gig on tomorrow. Oh. I mean Saturday, not tomorrow Saturday. <laughs> and so I'm kind of nervous, but I'm working, trying to work my songs. I got to do the whole show. You understand? It's called Home, and it's by Stephanie Mills. Well, she sings it. I don't know who wrote it. But Isn't it on The Wiz? 
it's on the Wiz. I know oh. Diane Ross did, did it, and also Stephanie Mills. So can you say when I think of home? Say that part. When I think of home, I think of a place where there. Okay. Love overflowing. Oh yes. Okay. Look at that acapella. I was home. Acapella. I was shining. Things I've been knowing. Okay. Winds that make the tall grass been interleaving. Oh wow. Thanks for that preview. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we have our funnel. I just need something, an empty, like a jug or something, so I can make my solution. Like empty something, I need to make water in my solution, my bleach solution. You know what? You got your things to get done, and I got my things to get done, and you keep bugging me and bothering me. Okay. Uh, about, um, check, you know? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so starting the process of cleaning my fresh water tank, I have to let the solution sit in there for 12 hours. <sighs> it's 1.40 on Thursday. I have to run it through come tomorrow. But I have my bleach. Obviously, I have my water. Let's get to diluting the solution first. When it comes to you, yeah. I can with you with together. I can never get enough of you. Right. So before I can begin cleaning the water tank, I have to drain whatever is in my water tank. So I have my water pump on. Now that the water pump is trying its hardest to get whatever it's whatever water is remaining, but I'm running out of water. This on the road would be a not so good thing, but because we're draining the water, it's a good thing. Right, guys, so we have my diluted bleach solution. And we're gonna put this into the fresh water tank. In the middle. It is in the middle. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Don't be like me when you're cleaning out your tank and whatever, and it requires measuring and calculating and all that, you know, jazz. So you need 1.25 ounces of bleach for every 10 gallons. Of fresh water that you have. I totally miscalculated and originally put four, six ounces of bleach into my water tank. I was like, no, this don't seem right. <sighs> Thanks to Danette, obviously. Turns out I needed way more than that. So, but we have it corrected and now we're just filling the water tank with the rest of the water. My water tank is filling. There you have it. It's almost filled. Yeah. A few hours later, actually more than a few hours. As you can see, the night is not young. I'm now in the process of draining out the system one last time. Uh oh. My water was overflowing, so I had to run and catch it before it got all of my electronics. Anywho, we are on our last rinse for the fresh water tank. I wanna say I rinsed it at least six times. I just wanna be sure that the bleach is all gone through my systems, through my tank. Who wants to be drinking or washing their hands or washing their body with a little bit of bleach in the system? So, so for my peace of mind, that's what I've done. I am enjoying my last night here in Indiana at my mom's house and uh, the fire feels pretty darn good. It's not too cold outside. Got my glass of wine. I'm just relaxing while my van sits out there doing what it needs to do. I said, you, you messing with my schedule now. I gotta get myself prepared for my business <laughs> and you gotta wash stuff. Taking up my my time, washing oh my towels God. and stuff. Could have been doing this all day, all day yesterday. I've been working, and now I'm got to do stuff to prepare myself for tomorrow. And you, anyway. What about this shower curtain? I'm taking it with me. How can you put it up yet? It's clean. You, you, you be doing that still sitting there drinking wine. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, today is the day. 
today is the day that I hit the road and see what everybody is talking about on the road with these gas prices. Honey. $24, not even halfway. Adventure. If I can just get by with $100. Come on, you're almost there. No, play with me. $80. We are an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes in, and I needed a break. And I was also passing through Chicago. So I wanted to have a snack for this long five hour drive. And we have Garrett's popcorn. Oh, I'm tired. Being that I haven't driven long distances in almost three months, I'm remembering how tiring it can be on your body not really sure if I'm tired from waking up early this morning or if I'm actually just tired already from my drive but it's gonna take me a quick 45 minute cat nap then get back on the road all right back on the road we go or Oak winery Two hours and 55 minutes. With gas prices the way that they are, I decided to be a little bit more intentional with how I spend my gas money, where I spend it at. So I've downloaded the app Gas Buddy, I believe. Yeah, Gas Buddy. So as I was driving to see where I can get the cheapest gas, and it, it directed me about seven minutes from the highway, but I got my gas for $4.19 instead of $4.99. <laughs> gas buddy. Can you guys hear the birds chirping? They finally made it to our destination in Lisbon, New Lisbon. Wisconsin and I'm at a winery called Burr Oak Winery. However, I just missed the wine tasting. They close at 5 o'clock and it is 5.34. But um, we are here and back on the road. Van life. As you can see, it's pretty much dead. No one's around. There's this old truck next to me. Looks a little wrong turnish, but we're not going to be scared. We're not going to go there. I believe I am back on the road guys how do I feel about it it feels exciting it feels it feels good to be back on the road and doing what I've done for the past two years however my time spent abroad in April for the entire month of April has really has really urged my longing to be back abroad I'm kind of torn I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place <laughs> as cool as that may sound but you guys have to realize the only reason I purchased the van was because I could not travel internationally. Now that I can travel internationally, my spirit and soul, it's, I feel a transition. But for now, we are going to enjoy and be grateful for where we are right now. And that is in van life, enjoying my Zion yet again for an epic adventure this summer. I think I'm going to call it a night, guys. I am tired. That five hour drive kicked my butt. So I'm going to relax and unwind, probably pop me a melatonin and go to bed so I can wake up fresh in the morning. Good night. Guys, good morning. It is a wet one today and it's a little chilly here in New Lisbon, Wisconsin, but realized that I didn't have any body wash, any water, drinking water, or a lot of the things that I, you know, need to survive. So we are going to head to our next destination. Unfortunately, we don't have anywhere concrete to sleep tonight so we'll probably be sleeping at a rest area but that's okay I know that there are a lot of you out there who really enjoy my van life videos and who are really looking to do this van life lifestyle and if, and watch me if not entertained for that encouragement and those tips 
that you can incorporate once you do start van lifing, right? And one of the biggest things that I want to share with you is to really understand the pros and the cons of van life. Not every day will be rainbow and roses, and I've explained this. You guys have seen me be on the struggle bus or struggle van since I've gotten on the road. One, okay. Okay. two, go! So if you understand both sides to van life, you will come out successful. Also, listening to your body. This is something that I really take pride in doing. I know when my body needs a break. I know when I need to rest. I know when I need to do the things that my body is telling me to do. If you need to take a month or two or three to rest from van life, then do so. That way, when you come back, like me, it'll be appreciated. And if it's something that you truly enjoy, you will come back feeling stronger and excited to take on the road again. But also remember guys, true love is living your best life free. I love this here life that I've created. And whether it's in van life, whether it's in domestic living, you have to find those bits and pieces of your life that make your life worth living and live it the best way you know how. As I appreciate you guys for watching this episode. Until next time, let us cheers to normalizing the luxury to live free, despite our fears. That beach you just looking for somewhere to build her nest. Let me get her because we're not having that. We're not doing that. She got the long legs like Tanaz, long skinny legs. <laughs> I love you Tanaz. Guys, I know you're probably wondering, what happened? Why did I take a break from van life? It's more like, what? No. That's all right, no, no more dog gonna be, gonna be in my van. Learning a new song. Uh -huh. It's really an old song that I used to sing years, 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 years ago when I was a little girl. And honestly, one of the biggest reasons is I was tired. And do what? Bring in the big guns. Yeah. It's a big <laughs> oh no. Pour it in the middle. It is in the middle. No, because you're doing it on the side. You gotta hold it up and put it straight through the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. My world's gonna change its face. But I still know where I'm going. I have had my mind spun around in space and yet I tired of living in this small space. I was tired of driving. I was just tired of being cramped. I was just tired and I wanted to come home and regroup. Thank you, Danette, for helping me tackling. Team tackle. See the floor underneath the wooden tube or underneath the wooden plank is filthy. That's just overwhelming. We appreciate you. Instead of sitting there drinking wine. <laughs> I'll tell you what, y'all. This lady is so funny to me.